At Open University, a law lecturer has been sacked because she raised concerns about teaching gender identity theory. Almut Gatto questioned curriculum requirements that uh, force teachers to talk about gender diverse identities and encourage students to use offenders' preferred pronouns. Uh, this doesn't say much about academic freedom, Kosha. Uh, it doesn't. It's one of these big establishment institutions, and uh, it's just such a deep system. It's really, really hard to go against the grain, and we've seen that time and again and issue after issue. Sometimes you see a crack where somebody comes out of it, um, and then they'll be beaten back promptly. So, so we'll see how that goes. But I think it is interesting when you see more of these cracks form, and um, I, I think it's just a pushback on this establishment that has really seen a lot of scope creep, and they're just moving away and away from actually teaching the subject matter that they have to do, and everything's going into these social issues. People don't want it. Well, I think one of the matters she raised is actually hugely important and being mi uh, missed, and that's uh, something that's important to victims of crime. Gatto said, we should not allow an offender to dictate the language of his case in a way which masks relevant facts, adding that she felt the new requirements distorted equality law and normalised child sexual exploitation. And we are seeing cases, Kosher, before the courts where everyone is dutifully uh, respecting the preferred pronouns of the offender, yeah. sex offenders in some cases, making a mockery of the English language and, more importantly, traumatising the victims. The victims are required to talk about her penis and, and, and uh, or, or just twisting reality. Yeah. So I think the matter raised there is hugely relevant. And in the case of victims, that's where it's just beyond the pale for, for most people, where it's completely backwards, that the perpetrator is the one who's being accommodated yeah. at, at the expense of the victim. It makes no sense. Uh, and also the other issue, too, I think people are very quick to concede language. They're just like, OK, who cares? It's just a word. It doesn't matter. Mm. But it does. It's a gateway into entire arguments that follow from that. And I think that's kind of the issue why there's this pushback on language and you're going to see more of that as people stand up to this.